Hey, how's it going, everybody? And so I took the plunge and updated my Google Pixel 6 to take the Android 15 Beta 1 um, software. So I was going to show you guys uh, Android 15 Beta 1. And let me just say this off jump. If you're expecting some sort of dramatic, um, you know, like difference in viewing, it pretty much looks like Android 14. Um, a lot of the Beta 1 uh, changes are within the software. And so, and some of these things in software are not things that you would tinker around with, you know, unless you were an Android developer. But, um, yeah, those types of features, things like that, you should start seeing them come in beta three. But, you know, in beta one, usually it's just really just kind of testing it out. If it's, you know, buggy or if things aren't working properly, they added in a couple of features here. Um, so like one of the first ones is edge to edge apps by default. Now this is something for developers to really kind of pay attention to, um, what it just has to do with the coding of just how apps will display on the screen. But, um, for like an actual feature, we're supposed to be getting smoother NFC. Uh, this just basically just talks about, uh, you know, tap to pay being a much smoother experience on Android 15 and that feature should be live in beta one. App archiving, which is something pretty cool. Just basically apps that you have on your phone that you rarely use, but you keep on your phone when you need to use it. Um, it offloads, I guess you could say, part of the app files just to uh, save storage. So, you know, I mean, that's kind of helpful. Um, app manage profiling. And literally this one is just basically Android 15 introducing code designed to collect a range of useful profiling data directly within the app. Uh, so again, you know, if you're one of those uh, developers, that's going to be something, you know, useful information for you. Uh, better Braille with um, basically Google providing a screen reader and uh, it's gotten a little better. So that's always nice to know that, you know, features for those that may have some sort of disability will be able to take advantage of it. Uh, better management for end-to-end -end encryption. So this is just beefing up security. Secured background activity. Uh, basically, this is where, you know, apps that are running in background um, aren't able to, you know, without permission, pull open something else while it's sitting in background. Uh, this will definitely help out. And it'll be more in-depth. Um in the future when it comes to more with Android 15 beta. Uh, but so far, those are just the things that are in beta one that you could be expecting. Like I said, majority of them are for Android developers, those that develop apps. Um, the smoother NFC, I don't know, maybe I'll try it out one day. I, I rarely use tap to pay, um, but maybe I should start and I can kind of test it out. First, I'll have to try tap to pay on my Pixel 7 and see if there's like a significant difference between the two but yeah not any huge changes just yet but just wanted to show you guys around for a little bit so thanks for watching the video smash the like button and subscribe